Welcome back. Well, as you keep an eye on the allergy count, it continues to stay rather high in the coming days. Again, as you notice, again, we got well into that high category. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, not a lot of change really until we get into the weekend. That's when we're finally going to get a little bit of rain out there, and I think that'll help us out just a little bit. But looking long range, it still looks like it's going to be pretty miserable as we move forward. So, as you notice, night planner, again, a few light winds out there. Otherwise, a little patchy fog. That's our biggest concern. But as soon as that fog burns, off a lot of sunshine tomorrow. What you're seeing here, that front is actually not going to make it here. Close, but no cigar. It actually is going to migrate back towards the northeast because it's attached to that warm front, lifting out of here. And if you notice, from Dallas to Houston to Austin to San Antonio, across our state, nothing but blue skies and minimal clouds out there. And that is the picture. Doppler radar clear and quiet at this hour. Future cast again. Chance for some early morning fog. Notice a little pocket on top of us. But once that fog burns off, probably around 8 in the morning, then we got a lot of blue skies ahead of us and we're going to quickly heat things up. A good day to maybe just you know, get some rays out in the backyard. But besides that, again, nothing, nothing good going forward, except that we do have a dry forecast until very late on Saturday, as we'll see a few passing showers out there with the possibility of some rain Monday and Tuesday of next week. So here you go. Headline-wise, there is a chance for a little bit of fog tonight. Just be cautious out there if you're going to be on the roadways. We're talking more near-record highs for the next two afternoons as we'll be approaching the upper 80s with feel-like temperatures in the 90s, and then the chance for Rain returns on Saturday. Look for a front to push through as we push into Sunday at this point. And that will eventually drop our temperatures a little bit closer to normal. Right now we're talking 75 and 52. That's where our average temperature should sit. But Look at where we go. We started out at 69 and we climbed to 86 this afternoon. In fact, there was a record high down in New Orleans this afternoon. So, live tower cam, we're talking 85 at this hour. Winds out of the west at about six miles per hour. Notice your current feel like temperatures because you have to factor in that humidity. 85 in Baton Rouge, 87 in Gonzales, 86 in New Orleans, and even 83 in the New Roads area. So, here you go. Next 12 hours, we're going to drop down into the mid 60s with a few passing clouds. Tonight, 64 out there. Again, we'll look for a little bit of fog out there. That's our biggest issue. Thursday, 88 out there, feeling more like 91 to 92. Very mild, winds out of the south. Another dry day ahead of us. Remember that we've also partnered up with iHeartRadio Baton Rouge. And here's that extended picture for you. We've got 88, 65, 89, very warm. And again, if we hit that, we should probably have. A record high, maybe even 90 for some locations. Saturday, slightly cooler because those clouds quickly return. Look for the possibility of a shower late. Most of the rainfall will be overnight into early on Sunday. So most of Sunday could actually end up being pretty dry. Monday, Tuesday, again, as another system moves in, chance for more scattered showers, but at least a cooler picture. Highs will drop back into the 70s with overnight lows even dipping into the 50s for a short while. Should be pretty nice after that as we head into your Wednesday. And just remember to check your blood pressure. We'll be right back.